everyone. Well, well, I don't know how we're going to explain to start this video off. Like, I wasn't expecting it. Uh, um, so basically, we were just going to drop a mate off at Birmingham Airport, then go watch the planes uh, at the Sheldon Country Park. Until once we got to the airport, Alan showed us this video. I'm giving you a special announcement. So today, Louis and his two brothers think that we're dropping our friend Mark to the airport and then going to watch the planes at Sheldon Country Park. Well, we were actually going to train spot as well at Marston Green, but as you were expected, the trains were on strike. Continue? But oh no, it's a surprise. We are really going on holiday to Tenerife and they don't know anything about it, so stay tuned for the big reveal when we show them this video at the Birmingham airport car park. They can't wait! And this was our reaction at the airport. Choose a bag boys. That's one. Yeah but do you know what we're doing? What? Those bags are yours. Hello. Yeah. You're going on we're going to Tenerife. Are we? Going oh, to Tenerife okay. for the week, yeah. We are. Yeah. Hello, you're going to Tenerife? For real? Yeah. Do you want to go? Yeah. We're going on for a ticket or car ride. Ah, oh, that's alright. What'd you say? <laughs> Thank you very much. Are you reckon, boys? Yeah. They're going to Tenerife! Yeah! So, here we are then, unexpectedly, at Birmingham Airport. Like, none of us was expecting this special moment. It was a really special surprise. One of the most surprising things that ever happened to me, actually. I've never expected a surprise of a holiday like this before. Well, here we go then. Let's in go inside Birmingham Airport now and head over to departures. We don't need to check in because we don't have any big bags with us. So we can take our little ones on the plane. So we have skipped going through check-in. So we just have to go up the escalator to the first floor where we will make our way straight to departures. And we will be taking the express lane or fast track to security today. I didn't fancy um, going in a big queue towards security because I know how long the queues take to get through security and it does take a really long time. So fast track was way quicker than I normally thought. Right, so we just got through security. It did take a little bit longer than expected because we had a lot more belongings on us as we are taking them on the plane. So now we're going to make our way over to the departure area and restaurants going via the World Duty Free Shop. Who doesn't love that? So it was quick and easy to get through. It only takes a moment to get through the Duty Free Shop and the way out towards the gates and the restaurants. Speaking of restaurants, we decided to stop by at Weatherspoons for a bit to have some dinner as I forgot to have mine at home. And our flight doesn't go in for a bit, so let's get some food while we are here. And yes indeed, it was really busy. It did take us a bit of time to find a seat, but luckily we found some that we can sit at and enjoy our food. Over 20 minutes later, our food has came. Lauren has decided to go for some chicken nuggets and some chips. I managed to get myself a pepperoni pizza. I've also managed to take a slice of my pepperoni pizza, give it a shot, it was, oh my word, really good I must say, it was very delicious indeed, one of the best I've tried out so far. And now, the brothers desperately want a seat next to the window, I already guaranteed my spot because the last holiday I've been to, I haven't got a window seat. So it's between Lauren and Marla to see who gets the window seat for this first leg over to Tenerife. And we've put them on the spot by playing rock, paper, scissors. It's best of five, first of three points will claim their window seat. Two, one. Oh, Come on. Oh, no one's getting but you can go on the way back. He's gotten the window seat. The best of two and you can get in years. Now that we're done with our weather spoons, I think it's a good time now to check what flight and airline we'll be travelling on. So we can just see here, our flight up there is LS12652 Tenerife South, that will depart at half past three. So we must make our way over to gate 1 to 20, so we can arrive at our gate in time, so we can be one of the first few people to board. With that being said, let's make our way over to gates 1 to 20. 
and on our way we decided to see a few planes out of the window making our way towards the gate. Wow, we can see a Jet 2 over there, I don't think that's ours. There's a Tui 787 Dream on over there, a 747 over there. Fueling Airlines A320 just taking off over there, going to Barcelona. Well, okay, it's been confirmed. It's gate 14, our Jet 2 holiday flight is going to be departing from. Let's make our way to gate 14 now. Yeah, we're boarding at last. Are you ready for it? Yeah! Yay! Jet 2, Tenerife South. There it is. And here it is. This will be our aircraft that will take us over to Tenerife South with the registration GJCBA, which has been first delivered to Jet 2 Holidays in October 2017. So we've been waiting out here for a couple of minutes to let people on wheelchairs on first since they take higher priority than us. Then after a few minutes later, it was almost close to departure time, we can now board the plane. We are going to be heading towards the very back of the plane because we've booked seats 27A, B, D, E and F. So without any further ado, time to board the plane and find our seats. There is 34 rows of 3 plus 3 configuration seating. We decided to move down until we find the 27th row. Well, it looks like I found my seat, so let's sit down. Lovely view. And just the perfect time to get a log in there to just arriving in. Looking forward for it. Yeah, he said yes. He's excited. And here we are, all on board the Jet 2 holiday flight to Tannery South. Uh, uh, we are expected to push back a little bit later than expected because we had a few other wheelchair users um, jumping on the plane today. And we just want to get everyone on as quickly as we can and then we can push back and get going. Anyways, we are now pushing back now. We're just about to go through the safety instructions of the aircraft. After that, we are now taxiing our way over to the runway. Uh, and we don't have to queue for any planes taking off, so we are straight away taking off for Tenerife South. Here is the full clip of our plane taking off for Tenerife. And with that, we have now taken off for Birmingham Airport. So now we're making our way out of the United Kingdom and now heading for the Canary Islands. So our flight time today will be four hours and 30 minutes and we'll do to arrive at Tenery South at eight o'clock later tonight. Our highest cruising altitude will be 37,000 feet. So there's not really much to do on the plane than just sit back, relax, have a little nap, play a little bit of games. Um, we'll meet you once we get close to Tenerife itself. One eternity later. Right, so it's been 4 hours and 30 minutes later and we are just about to land now at Tenerife South Airport. Here we are just about to land at the island of Tenerife on the Canary Islands. And here is our landing now at Tenerife South. Hopefully they don't slam it on the ground like Ryan airplanes do. <laughs> Welcome to Tenerife South, and our holiday has only just begun. 
Right, so without any further ado, let's now leave the plane as we now landed. We have parked outside of the terminal gate itself, so we're going to have to take a shuttle bus to take us into the terminal, which will be this Q bus 3000. Right, we're now on our way over on a short hop to the airport terminal. Uh, the flight was quite good, very relaxing, it was peaceful, thankfully no babies crying. So here we are now arriving at the airport terminal itself. So let's get our way through arrivals and into the entrance of the terminal itself. Well, time to get through the arrival zone now. We are going to be having our boarding passes at the ready to get access to claiming our bags, although we did not have any because we didn't bring any huge belongings with us. So we skipped on that and head straight for the exit. It was a nice flight, wasn't it? It was nice, really. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's nice. It's a nice flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's in the air. We're now going to be making our way to the exit of the airport and head to the taxi bays. And we've made it outside of the airport terminal at Tenerife South. So we're just going to be heading towards our taxi bay now because we're going to have a taxi going to take us to our apartment where we're going to stay in for the week. Uh, so let's um, try to find one and see if we can take us there. Only a few more minutes later and we've managed to find a taxi that will take us over to our hotel for the week. So let's get the brothers in the boot for being very naughty boys and I'll take the seat to the right of the window. Right, we just left Tenerife South Airport and we're now heading our way down the dual carriageway at some quite high speeds, 120 kilometers an hour or 75 miles per hour down the dual carriageway towards our hotel. Uh, and the views out here are absolutely magnificent. You can see a lot of mountains and trust me, they do look nice when you pass through them on the dual carriageway. By the way, this only took 15 minutes from the airport and here we are at our hotel for the week. Welcome to Ramada Hotel, where this is going to be our hotel that we're going to be staying in for the week. So let's go make our way over to our hotel accommodation. This takes a little bit of time to find our hotel accommodation as there was a lot of rooms, a lot of floors, a lot of passageways and a few flights of staircases that could lead up or down to whatever it could take you to. Is that a minigod? Oh, what a lovely caller. We've now made our way up to the second floor where we can now see a bit of the swimming pool that we're going to be swimming in later on. Uh, so that is the size of it. We can also see one of the restaurants nearby that you can also serve yourself some breakfast and dinner. Anyways, we're almost there now to be finding our apartment that we're going to be staying in. And looks like we can just see it up ahead. Let's hope the accommodation is really good and more better than a Butlin's holiday because trust me, it wasn't the greatest actually. So now let's go inside our hotel room and have a look around and see what it has to offer. This is our apartment and this is our living room. Nice big settee, massive TV. This is the toilet right here, there's the loo, we've got a nice big shower there, a nice big sink. Hello. That's one of the bedrooms. I'm pretty sure I know who's sleeping there. Yeah, seems obvious. Hmm, I'm curious whose bedroom this might be, but we'll see. Nice TV as well, and a fan. And now it's time for the best part of this hotel, the balcony bit. Have a look at that. Oh dear, look at this. Feels egyptic, isn't it? This hotel is so massive, you can see almost everything, including the ocean from miles away, the mountains, the beautiful sunset, and the swimming pool down there as well, we can just see. This is one of the most beautiful holiday attractions that we've ever gone to at the moment. You get a fantastic view of the Atlantic Ocean from far away. Uh, you get the swimming pool in the distance that we could consider having a swim in eventually. Uh, and the view towards the top of that. I always wonder how many rooms could be at the top of there. Uh, yeah. So this is our holiday experience here at Tenerife and it only just began and I'm really looking forward to be seeing what else we could be doing in Tenerife very very soon for this upcoming vlog and you can see for yourself.
Next time on our Tenerife holiday. Lauren gets thrown into a pool by a crazy Karen. Try guess the name of this cocktail Lauren is drinking. And we go for a trip down to the Irish Oak. It's all to be continued on our Tenerife holiday.